Peace and love. Zero, zero, zero on the clock. Sending you all positive energy, high vibes, success on your entrepreneurship, all love, all positivity. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You hit the like button and you leave me any comments or questions in my description below. Two, two on the clock. Today, I'm going to be speaking about the significance of Life Path 7. When we tap into the vibrations of the numbers and read the energy of the life paths, it lets us know the energy of our personality, our personal lives, also the true essence of our soul, and it lets us know the energy of the collective consciousness as a whole. Every number has its unique meaning, okay? Just like each celestial being has their unique talent and soul purpose to see forth in the universe. I always be familiar with that. So, when we think of angel number seven, it's symbolic to having a overstanding of the mind, the body, the spirit, and emotions as a whole. Okay. Balance. To have spiritual discernment. Okay. We have to have the overstanding of the mind, the body, the spirit, and emotions as a whole to ascend to a higher level of consciousness. Also, seven is symbolic to the heavenly body. Seven is symbolic to us coming into oneself. Having the overstanding of our true divinity as divine beings and our sole purpose on the planet. It's a number of deep wisdom, knowledge, and overstanding of higher levels of consciousness. Okay, when we're dealing with seven, it's used throughout the universe, traditions worldwide to have spiritual discernment. So, I'm going to give you all just a little bit of number seven energy. We have the seven main body chakras that we have to balance in order to have soul evolution. Okay, we have the seven alchemical processes that twin flames go through in order to reach soul evolution. Also, when we think about the biblical character Jesus Christ... He actually created the whole world and he rested on the seventh day, 303 on the clock. We also have one of the first mother civilizations in African spirituality that practice the astronomical science of the universe. Okay. They actually had seven doors of the holies of the holies and it was symbolic to the holies of the holies being the pineal gland the mind okay I always be familiar with that so if you have a life path seven you are a deep intuitive individual okay you are connected by Neptune Pisces energy okay it's the last sign Okay, it is connected with the mystical, the Einstein energy, the 5D. Very dark experiences, very intuitive and sensitive, emotional people. When we have individuals that are deeply sensitive, they hold great psychic abilities. Okay, they can sense negative energy well just as well as positive energy very psychic the more sensitive the more emotional the more psychic when we're dealing with celebrities that hold the energy of life path sevens we have bruce lee trey Sons, and bryson tiller okay when we think of the energy of bruce lee and I researched his intellect is great. 
and even his martial arts skills he was someone that i was drawn to and he had great psychic abilities and also he accessed the power of his true divinity by tapping into the energy of martial arts okay also when you think of trey songs i still listen to this song to the day that he made and it it was out like i think it's like almost nine years old baby <laughs> and i have an old soul so i always listen to old songs i love love songs and trey Sun has a spiritual song and it talks about the woman being the moon and the stars and i just love that energy okay and also braxton taylor he is connected spiritual as well because some of his songs resonates with spirituality so i like his lyrics too so very deep in tune spiritual individuals and i could resonate with some of the lyrics of the songs i always take in what helps me to vibrate high anything that i don't resonate with i don't take it in okay so these are very deep individuals if you are life path seven you deep you had a lot of traumatic and transformational times they are for growth and expansion okay you love to work on knowledge you love to research information you're also known to be a nerd because you just like seek for knowledge you could be connected with that esoteric knowledge really deep into that <laughs> um you here to be a spiritual teacher you observe everything in every aspect of life okay and you dig deep when you research okay and you like to get to the core of things okay a very intuitive connection with the ancient ancestors whoever you might worship your higher power you connect with them so you connect with the aliens the extraterrestrial beings you are here to be used as a vessel for the gods and you are here to raise the frequency on the planet you hold the energy of uranus okay uranus is about taking the knowledge that you have and a great intellect and expressing the knowledge outwards into humanity okay you're known to be a loner okay you like to go inside of self spiritually in tune you are connected with the einstein i always say that when i speak about spirituality because he was deep into the mystical okay the 5d world okay um a lot of individuals don't understand you and it's hard to find people to resonate with you because you have a higher calling and you are so deep into the magical the mystical world the spiritual world is what fulfills you it helps you to vibrate high and you are great being alone okay you like being alone you love being independent but you can take the energy and still be of service to the collective consciousness be a light be positive and operate out of love okay you find yourself the most when you're alone okay because you tap into your higher guidance of intuition and it helps you to navigate with the five senses smoothly and that's when you're able to get all the research all the knowledge in and you're able to share the knowledge as you are studying and researching it okay um make sure because this is your downside that you still try not to distance yourself so much from society but try to connect with many people as you can because you find it hard to find individuals that resonate on your frequency okay very down to earth very cool individual it's just that once you can't find no one to resonate with you you know you navigate and you make the best 
out of being alone and being isolated okay I always be familiar with that but when we are tapped into spirituality we have the understanding that we have to be social and connect with others and cultivate in order to be of balance and to be connected with the harmonizing field because everyone needs someone okay everyone has someone out there for them that resonates with them they have their divine counterpart and they also have great friends and great companionship okay as you be that love as you be that healer you would then find others that will align with your frequency okay but until then and the guys always tell me this they are going to over flood you with love positivity happiness guidance and companionship you'll get it from the higher power until you find individuals that you can resonate with 111 11 was just on the clock as i was speaking about the gods okay so let me let you all know the energy you hold as a life path seven beautiful energy very observant okay you can you can suck in energy really good because you're an empath so you have to be able to make sure that you are having individuals around you that resonates with you and that add to the happiness that you have from yourself because you suck in energy like a sponge that's because you sensitive you super connected with those emotions because you connected with that Pisces energy that Pisces energy is water and it's very psychic individual like I said okay just find balance to not be so isolated as well okay but you are very powerful you are beautiful being you have a body of knowledge and you are here to spread love light and healing into humanity okay so take the great intellect that you do have and express it outwards okay um stay connected with the source stay vibrating high stay operating out of the heart space of love and everything that you are doing and you are putting out you are going to be rewarded for it okay you have great energy and you are chosen to be of light of healing of positivity and to raise the frequency on the planet okay it's okay <laughs> to feel different to be different because we all have to embody our own individuality we have to access the true essence of the soul so it's okay don't feel bad don't feel alone and just know that the gods are with you and you will find individuals that resonate on your frequency I love you Thanks for being a leader. Thanks for being a positive role model. And I will be back with more. Peace and love. I love you.